Hi, my name is Allison McDowell, and I am currently a dancer in the ensemble of Chicago the Musical on Broadway. That's a dream come true right there. I've been very fortunate to have a great career that's taken me all around the world, and I've gotten to do some really special shows, A Chorus Line and La Caja Folle, these iconic shows that tell such beautiful stories and have such great meaning behind them. But I'm loving being a part of Chicago, which is really proving to be a timeless show because you're relying solely on your movement. And Fosse, he was such a genius with the way he moved his body and how much he could get across to the audience through the smallest movement. There's no set. There's hardly any costumes. And we bring in the audience with you know, a simple movement of, um, of a finger moving or an eye, eye focus being in one specific spot for a second longer than maybe you're comfortable with as an audience member. And it, it draws this, this audience into you and it's such an exciting show to be dancing in. There's nothing better than walking into a theater and, and going backstage and seeing the lights and, and hearing the glow of them and walking out and feeling the energy that only an audience and being on stage can feed you. There's something so special about it and I wouldn't trade that for the world. Even if one day I'm not performing, I will always treasure and never regret any of the choices I made to be able to experience what I have. Dancing will always be a passion of mine. It gets a little tricky when you suddenly intermix your passion with your career. Because career has to supply your income, and your lifestyle, and your health insurance, and all these things that don't really align themselves nicely with passion all the time. Which brings me to another point. <laughs> Being a dancer is painful. <laughs> uh, I would say the last time I danced without an injury of some sort was probably when I was 20 years old when your body can do whatever you want it to do. <laughs> um, things start slowing down and joints start locking up and uh, it's amazing how each year I feel more and more. So that's something that I've really had to take into consideration with my whole lifestyle. You know, if I do this, how will that affect my show tonight? Or if I eat that, how will it affect how I feel later? Now, don't get me wrong, I don't live on a strict diet and I enjoy my pizza and my french fries and my burgers and beer and all of that. But you have to be responsible about it because your body is now your instrument. Your body is your tool that you use for everything. You have to take good care of it. It's your temple. It is your money maker. <laughs> um, honestly, I'll never live a life that doesn't involve dance because that would be impossible. It becomes ingrained in you and it's part of who you are and it's a special thing, and even if you don't do it professionally, if you're a dancer you are, and you have any experience with it at all, you've joined this community and we're a family. And we look at each other and we understand something that the rest of the world doesn't. I'm very thankful to be a part of it. What a fun life to be doing this. There's nothing better.